There's a nationwide program aimed at steering kids away from drunk driving and it is visiting local schools here this week. Local 3's Riley Nagel was at Central High School this morning for the first stop. He has more from the students there and their experiences driving impaired. Central High students are learning through a high tech simulation that to arrive alive, it's best to drive sober. You know, it's kind of like a video game and it's meant to be fun for them, but it definitely still has a serious meaning behind it. And we hope that it just gets them talking about it. And if even five kids from a school walk away thinking, well, I'd never try that in real life now, then I think that's a win for the day. Jalen Burris is the route representative for the Arrive Alive Tour. Through a company called Unite, he travels around the country, giving students a chance to experience the dangers of distracted or drunk driving. <laughs> Isabel Martin was one of the first volunteers. Her simulation shows the difficulty of texting while driving. It wasn't so much as vision impaired as just you have the distraction of the phone and your goal is to just not really look at it. Most of the other participants opted for the drunk driving simulation. Like maybe like a quarter of a mile, you start, it starts veering off the road and all that. It's not easy to drive whatever you're drunk, we've realized. But. I got above 50 and I was just cruising and I hit somebody, but the car kept moving, so I guess I did good. I did have somebody back into me, but it wasn't my fault, but because I was drunk, it was my fault, technically, so. Burris explained that he can adjust the alcohol content as the students drive, making it more difficult to stay on the road. After the simulation, he gives each of the participants a citation to think about what they've done. Violation of getting off the road, obviously being drunk. Uh, yeah, it looked really re um, real. It showed me what I did where I messed up, well, not messed up, but where it went wrong. All the students I spoke with agreed they had a good time and encourage others to participate to learn the valuable lesson, driving while impaired never ends well. I would recommend doing it if you are someone who is legally able to drink and smoke weed, just so that you know, you know, don't drive and do that. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News.